Welcome to this short video. I'm Ted Jedernak. You're about to discover super skill number four that maximizes clinical outcomes for your MSK patients. Super skill number four that maximizes clinical outcomes for your MSK patients is when it comes to your patient's MSK conditions, the skill of using high velocity, low amplitude manipulation is essential. There's even a postgraduate course for physios called the master's degree in manipulative physiotherapy. Chiropractors spend years developing their high velocity treatment skills. Ever had a patient say to you, it feels like it just needs a good crack? Heck, what about in your own body? Have you ever had that sensation that something's not right? I mean, it's not painful, but geez, it just feels like it needs to be released. Ever had that? Hey, but hang on, isn't manipulation dangerous? Just last week, our local current affairs program on TV had another newsworthy segment of the dangers of manipulation featuring a chiropractor working on a baby. Now, I won't bore you with the fact that the rate of serious adverse events with chiropractic is less than one in 400,000 or less than one in 1.1 million. Rather, I'd like to highlight the anatomical facts about high velocity forces when they're used with the foot and ankle. First, a high velocity manipulation on an adult ankle or subtalar joint would typically take about 200 to 240 newtons of force. To determine if this manipulation could be dangerous, we need to clarify and define the term dangerous, which is, in this context, likely to cause or result in harm or injury. If manipulation is likely to cause harm or injury, then it's reasonable to conclude that it could be dangerous. Make sense? This is important to be clear about because you're in the business of helping people, not harming them, right? One of the risks of manual therapeutic methods is causing harm. In the instance of foot or ankle treatments, manipulations can be used to release or break up connective tissue restrictions to restore normal healthy joint functions. High velocity techniques can also be used to create therapeutic neurological and pain relieving effects. Cadaver experiments indicate that ligaments tend to fail when 400 to 800 newtons of force are applied. Remember that a practitioner applying a high velocity manipulation would be delivering less than half of the force that causes ligaments to fail. Those cadavers, they had all the other tissues removed, you know, joint capsules, associated muscles, ligaments and tendons. In fact, you're probably gonna to need to generate over 1000 newtons of force to sprain or rupture a ligament in a living human. That's highly unlikely that you're even able to generate that amount of force. Unless, of course, you're built like me. Okay. Typically, the manipulative force you'd apply will generate only 15 to 25 percent of the force that would be required to cause harm. In other words, when you manipulate a joint, you're applying less than a quarter of the force required to cause damage. On this physiological basis, we can conclude that manipulation of the foot or ankle is not dangerous. The evidence is very clear on the benefits of manual therapies for MSK conditions. High velocity manipulation for the foot and ankle has a very low risk of causing harm, but like any tool, if used inappropriately, it can certainly cause damage. It's not the tool's fault, rather it's the user. Like this hammer could help me with my carpentry repair job, but it could wreak havoc on this camera, couldn't it? I mean, if you're interested in developing your foot manipulation skills, for your MSK patients and saving with the early bird rates, simply click the link on this page for the FMT intensive. Remember, this is only open to graduates of FMT level one. You'll get the full lowdown on what the training includes, what's new for 2019, and how to save a heap of cash. We already have reviewers on board as well as clinic owners who are sending their pods along so that they too can get even better clinical outcomes. I think it was uh, Oscar Wilde who said, you can never be overdressed or overeducated. The next super skill, which is skill number five of five, will be coming to you soon. Thanks for watching this video. It's truly great to work with practitioners who want to maximize their skills so they can help more patients like never before. Until next time, 
Serve with spirit, consult with care, and check more joints today.